Sandrine Bonnet is, is an actress who, Sandrine, when I was here as a student many years ago, you, you were younger than me, you were at the, the lycée next door to the college where I was teaching English. So yeah, I've, known about, I've, told me I've known about you since you were, you know, since you were still doing your A-levels or your baccalaureate. So, and even then you were a star. So you are someone who in, in French society is extremely well known, someone who people would envy, but you've lived through, because of domestic violence, an absolute nightmare. Now, take your time when you tell us about this, because you're going to be talking about things that clearly are disturbing and difficult. But thank you for agreeing to speak to us. Tell us a little and bit about... And also difficult in English. Well, indeed, indeed, <laughs> indeed. So I'm here to try to help. So yes. tell me a little bit about, about your story. I mean, I understand that it was an ex-partner who assaulted you in a horrific way. It went to court. He was convicted. He still denies having, having done anything to you. Is that true? Yes, it's that true. It was uh, 20 years ago. Uh, we had a fight, and um, suddenly he, he got nervous, and he um, he took me he took my uh, throat. Uh, by the yes, throat. he strangled me, um, and I, I I I passed away for I mean I passed out for I don't know for how many minutes, but uh, I woke up, and when I woke up, I, I felt something wrong in my face. And uh, I had, um, my tongue was completely... Your, your tongue was cut? Was cut. Um, my bones, uh, I have uh, three fractures. So a fractured jaw? Yeah. My, my yeah. jaw, yes. Yeah. Uh, here and here. And, um, and I had uh, eight teeth broken. So just to recap then, you were strangled, you passed out, and then you woke up with horrific pain in the face, fractured jaw, pain up in the upper... Yeah regions of the skull, and you lost a number of teeth, eight teeth. Eight teeth, What yes. did your partner say had happened? He said that I, um, I, I fell, and I said, uh, are you sure? Because, uh, and I, I didn't, I mean, I didn't trust him, but I, at the same time, we were together for three years and a half, so I said, there is no reason. Uh, and he'd not been violent in that time. No, he was uh, he was very gentle, very calm, very. Uh, but uh, but he did uh, this strangulation, mm. so he couldn't deny that, you know. So um, so I went to the hospital right away. He didn't think to uh, you know to call the emergency or nothing. Uh, I had to um, to call my sister to take care of my daughter. She was seven at that time, and she, oh, hopefully she was sleeping when... She, she didn't when, see you being hit? No, she didn't see that. So, so um, I went with my stepbrother to the hospital and with uh, that guy. His name is Pierre. Mm. And uh, when I went to the hospital, they, they took me in emergency because I, I was bleeding, you know, a lot here. And, uh, and they took me to the, to the surgery and um, they operate me. And, uh, and I, I said to that man, uh, okay, so you, you, you take your things and you, you don't come back to my home. So he left. And, and after that, uh, for me, it was, uh, I mean, my case was, uh, was uh, quite complicated because, um, because my jaw didn't come back, you know. I was uh, completely on that side and was paralyzed for uh, two months. And I couldn't open my mouth, you know. And uh, the, the surgeon, sur the su surgeon, surgeon. surgeons yeah. were very worried about that. And they were talking about uh, aesthetic surgery. Mm. And I was afraid. I said, oh, my, my God, maybe uh, they are bad. You know, they didn't care well uh, with me. So I called someone else uh, and he, who is an actor because I was in shooting during sure. that time. So, uh, so uh, the film uh, stopped uh, for uh, two uh, months and a half. You had to suspend the filming because you couldn't work. I obviously. couldn't work and I was paralyzed. And I had to, you know, to eat with a... Um, straw? Uh, with a straw. Uh, I lost many kilos. And, um, and um, so I saw another doctor. And that doctor said, um, you, you, you have uh, been bitten. So, so that's when you discovered that you'd been beaten? Because up until yes. then, you thought, you, you thought, as your ex-partner said, you'd just fallen. Yes, yeah. just, you said that. So when you discovered you'd been hit and by him, I, I can't imagine how you would feel about that. It was terrible. Yeah. It was terrible because uh, he was lying, you know, mm. and, he, uh, and, um, and even 
in front of the court, you know. He, he denied everything, everything he said that I was, uh, uh, I felt, you know, and, and it's terrible. As I explained to people at the start, you, you were a star when you were young. Yes. You've been a star throughout your career. The fact that something like this could happen to someone like you. Yes, also. It's is, not, is, uh, you know, in... Um, uh, low classes or the, the, you know, the profile is that it happens in, in on, on council estates or cité and people who maybe have no opportunities yeah, uh, no. I, I'm talking from experience now because I grew up in a place like that and saw and witnessed lots of domestic violence so I'm not just talking about people I'm talking about what I saw growing up mm -hmm. but your perspective someone who everyone would think has everything you end up as a victim like this it's it, it seems unthinkable but you live through it Yes, and, I, and I'm lucky, you know, because uh, um, I'm a free woman, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I work, I have some money, and uh, I can do whatever I want. Uh, and I'm thinking about women who, who has to have to stay there with their husband because uh, they, they don't have the, um, uh, the opportunity to, to go, you know, because they don't have money, they have nothing, you know. They are... Uh, dependent of uh, of their, they're trapped. Uh, they're yes, trapped. they are trapped. Yeah. Yes, so it's more complicated. It's far more complicated for them. It wasn't easy for you what you went through, the that horrific pain, and of course the, the the discovery of what he'd done to you. I mean, that must have left you with all kinds of psychological pain, feelings in your head about what happened, your own self worth, your own value. Yeah, and for me, you know. It, and even today, it's uh, the most difficult thing for me about that, that story. Mm -hmm. It's the, the physical things. You know, even if I want to, uh, to forget that man, I can't because I still have pain on my face. And also, you know, the face, it's, it's also the, 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 the neck, the, back the, of the, the neck. neck yeah. And, you know, the, the arms, the shoulder. everything. Yes, yeah. shoulders and... The, uh, and um, you know when the, when it's cold or or if it's windy, I have a, a big big pants here, you know. And my my jaw is a very um, how do you say that uh, rigid, tight, uh, tight, tight, rigid, you know? stiff. Yes, yeah. and I I don't have the mobility, you know, mm. to uh, and um, Look, and it's looking terrible. At, looking at you now, you can't see any of that. Let me reassure you, you cannot see any of that. You look, no, we don't see it. You look, I mean, you look I know perfectly, it. You know, perfectly elegant and as, as one would expect <laughs> something you. von Air to look. You know, you look, you look great, yes. you know. hopefully. Well, let's hope so, that lasts. I change a little bit here. Yeah. I mean, but <laughs> oh. it's okay. But, you know, this is the, 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 the most difficult thing is to, even if I want to forget that man, I can't because uh, physically, you know, it reminds me of uh, him. You've you know, got that reminder so, every day. I, yes. It's in my body, it's my... May, may I ask you, Sandrine, what you think about what the government is saying now, the fact that the government is acting in some way? Um, going back to my own background, I can recall when I was a child, if the police came to a domestic violence in incident, they wouldn't, they wouldn't get involved, they'd just walk away. It doesn't concern us, they'd say, they'd walk away. Now, that's changed in the UK. Mm -hmm. I see here in France now changes are coming. It's about time, I would say. It's, 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 it's something that needs to happen. What do you think about what the government is planning to invest in places for women to escape to, to arrest the man and take away his rights to be the father, those kind of things? What do you think about what the, the government is planning? I mean, I hope uh, they just don't talk. Yeah. That's the mm. thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, the ideas are good. I mean, I hope uh, they will do it. And I hope they will give the money and... Uh, uh, because I, I've heard that uh, uh, that the feminist says uh, she's lying. I don't, I don't know. I can't the, the, explain the, the, that. There's always English, an element. There's always the, an element of distrust when these things are announced, isn't it? That some people will say, one group will say, the government's saying this, but they're not going to keep their promise. That's that's, that's yes, the fear, isn't it? Yes, I hope they it? will yeah. keep it. You know, and I hope the um, uh, the justice will do. Um, you know, because uh, me, he had uh, only two years of. Uh, I don't know in English. Sursi, how do you say that? Uh, it's 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 a suspended sentence that he was he was given. I I, I did some research. Uh, uh, it's prison avec sursi. I mean, it's a sus yeah. suspended sentence. That means he doesn't go to prison. But if yes. he offends again, he will yeah. be sent to prison. Yeah. yeah. So it's not enough. I don't know if it, the jail is the good solution, but you know, uh, uh, there is no impact 
on that man, you know, he says, uh, you have to be serious for two years and that's it. You know, so I think it's too easy. So I think the justice has to do uh, to make things as, um, harder, you know, for They've got to make it men. harder. They've got to actually enforce these things because the police have to do their job, but then the court has to do its job as well. Exactly. That's the important yes. thing. I mean, this is clearly something for you. It has been kind of hard to, to digest, I suppose, the fact that there wasn't a prison sentence. There was, you know... Do you think, yes, do you, do you think he, he got off very lightly? Yes. Yeah. And uh, two, two years of uh, sursis, mm. it's, uh, it was a lot for me. Yeah. But uh, I've heard some people, you know, uh, some men... Uh, um, I've heard um, uh, a TV show the other day. Yeah. Uh, one uh, woman was uh, uh, beaten by uh, her man for six years, and the man took only three months of sursis. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's, an it's not fair. I completely and utterly agree with you, Sandrine. Thank you so much for joining us here. Um, we felt it was important that you come and talk to us about what you've been through because it's 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 a fine example of of the fact that this is a problem that can affect anybody no matter what level of society you're at no matter how gifted you are or talented or beautiful it can affect anybody anybody yeah and you know sort of someone who's a star like you you know yes, with with your also. huge talent with everything you've done in movies and all that can still fall victim to this this plague of society and and thank you for and um I'm here Specifically because me, it's 20 years ago, but for all those women, um, and I'm, I want to support them. But also, uh, I would like to precise that uh, it's not those things happen in France, and you know the the the, um, the walk uh, on mm. Saturday. It's not against uh, men. Also, we have to precise that. You know, and I, I'm still loving men. You know yeah. what I mean? But some of them has to, I mean, to behave... Uh, properly. Properly, In, in the yes. correct way. Y yes. Your spirit is indomitable. That is clear. Thank you very much, yes. Sandrine Bonner, for joining us. Thank you. For telling us some very difficult things and for sharing your thoughts, uh, feelings, and uh, basically your experiences. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And uh, I Me hope you too. continue being you. Don't ever change. Thank you very much indeed. Sandri Bonnet, um, survivor of domestic abuse, but I'm sure you'll agree, an all-round star. Thank you. <laughs>